and welcome to the starter players which I think are gonna be OP on FC 25 I've got a few players I think I've got about 30 40 players but let's get straight into it I think Joe Willock the Newcastle man is gonna be a top quality man look at his teeth look at his eyes are oh, he has massive eyes it looks like I show speed stat, but what a legend man decent stats to be honest 77 pace 72 73 80 70 defending and 69 physicality perfect number by ea but overall a solid card i think for the first two weeks of fifa you won't be too expensive but average player decent man decent trim decent looking eyes but what a man next we got jackson he looks about 40 years old. He looks pissed. His hairline is decent, but it's, it's pushing back. But overall, as a starter striker, he is someone you want. Decent pace, decent shooting, decent dribbling, and also decent physicality. So in the air, he will be decent. And of course, I did play the beta. Aerial doesn't really matter. Like, well, like players, headers don't really matter too much, but it will still be important. And I think I say though, He's probably going to be quite not too pricey but like 20 30k for the first few weeks but again solid card like joe willett but decent card 75 63 75 passing 78 dribbling 79 and 78 so overall solid cards in my opinion let me delete these the pricks now we've got harry Maguire, the legend okay of course I am trolling. He is a shittest player. For starters, the 37 pace, you know, of course I'm just trolling, but terrible card, man. You can never use him. If you use him, you're going to concede about 35 goals, man, every hour. He's absolutely shit. That pace is. They've done him dirty, man. They've done him dirty. Now we've got Main or Tommy Mainu, another one. He's going to be a solid card, good dribbling. Decent physicality, decent pace, and decent defending. He's going to be another one of them players that are going to be a good star card for the first few weeks, maybe even a month. But decent smile, terrible haircut, but top baller, man. And a crazy upgrade as well. That's a crazy upgrade. But guys, if, you, if you're if you seeing any players missing that you think might be top quality star players, just comment down below and I'll have a look at them. But this guy, last year he was OP, this year he'll also be OP. Maybe the Crystal Palace man, new move to the Premier League, I think he's going to be too expensive because that pace is crazy, but still a good start card. How do you even say his name? La Correcci? Shit name, shit trim. Man, crazy he is. Now, Dagustoon, the Spurs man. Or is it the Spurs? It looks decent. I think he's gonna be good. I think I'm gonna use him probably. He's gonna be cheap, so it's quite tall as well. But he's gonna be quite cheap. 73 pace, 75 dribbling, and 75 physicality. I think his physicality should be higher, but also a terrible haircut. But top land overall. Now, oh, Lima, he's always a good man. He's always a top starter player. Always good. Good links, good lead, good trim. Strong man, decent man, overall solid stats man, 80, 80 pace, uh, 77 passing, 77 dribbling, 82 and 78 physical, he's going to be good as always, hopefully he's not too expensive but he's going to be good, now we have another Bayern Munich man who's missing the eyebrow, Ito, 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 he's going to be also very good in my opinion and he's not going to be too pricey but he'll be about 5 to 10k maybe 15k but he's gonna be solid looks like it um not too tall so a quick player but, but also not too short so a top quality man with, with decent stats and also a good passing which is very useful we have tell terrible trim but he's gonna be crazy as a star card as a striker very good shooting for a star card very good pace for a starter card decent dribbling he's, he's gonna be probably 
20 30k but you probably be will be worth it but looks like a solid start a striker and also good links even though links don't matter we have elise i think he's going to be quite cheap as a right winger decent pace decent shooting left footed man so his finesse shots will just cut in it's going to be crazy good good passing and good dribbling but a solid starter card he might be a bit expensive because new move to the german league but a good man with a decent hairline but top man now bradley i think he's going to be one of the most used starter premier league fullbacks well right back because he's 75 rated and also his 82 pace and overall to be honest he, he got good stats so hopefully he is good in game but you never know but i'm gonna probably use him if i go a bit of premier league but looks like a decent decent man with a decent well not a decent trim a terrible trim i'll be honest and terrible teeth and also massive ears but i can't talk that's why I'm wearing headphones. Now this guy is gonna be I don't know how the hell to say his name, but he's he's smiling too much. It's making me kind of sus, but decent hairline, he's pushing back in the corners, good smile, nice goatee, but tall man, strong man, very good uh, stats, 71, 76, 77 dr uh, passing, 81 dribbling and shit defending, but good physicality. He's gonna be another decent card. Mm he might be a bit expensive maybe 20 30k because he's, he's from liverpool but decent man decent starter card in my own opinion but comment down below what you guys think and also guys leave a like and subscribe if not it's fine um oh well nelson i think he's not going to be too expensive but him him being an arsenal man might make him a bit expensive he is low rated which will help with the cheapness but his pace is his, his pace is good and his passing is good and his dribbling is good his shooting is shit but for the first few weeks of fifa i think he'll be a perfect perfect man also a decent hairline a decent beard but yeah a good lad overall now regulon i don't know if he's gonna leave spurs or not but looks like he's gonna be a spurs player but good stats He'll be a good left back for the Premier League, I think. Nothing else to be said. Decent pace, decent passing, decent dribbling, decent defending, but terrible physicality. But as a fullback, it's not really needed too much for, for the start of FIFA. But I think for the first month of FIFA, he'll be good enough. So now, Solanke is a weird one. So in the beta, of course, which I'm not allowed to show the gameplay because I'll be banned. Uh, I, I did it twice. And I got two strikes for it. But Solanke was a decent player, I'll be honest. Like the game, his, he didn't feel that heavy, even though he's a tall lad. But this FIFA is not like FC24, where people, well, players that are massive, like Haaland, are just OP. And this FIFA is a bit more balanced, you know? It's a bit more, more dribbling and more outshot the shooting. It's basically more balanced, as I said, but he was actually very good. So that's why he's, he's in this video right now. He's a player I'm going to lose. I will definitely use him because he got a good dribbling and also he's tall. So that's why he's in the starter video. Now, oh, he's, he's going to have five star week for, I think, or well, hopefully he does because last day he did. But he's going to be a top card, man. Decent pace, decent physicality, and good shooting. Richarlison is always a good starter card. I'm going to play 4 4 2 this, this year, so he'll be in my lineup with Solanke, the fat brick. And Ardaville, the main man. Terrible haircut, good smile. He looks like a little kid. But I think he's going to be a solid, solid, solid starter card. Decent pace, decent shooting, good passing, good dribbling, but he's, he's fucking weak, so he might get bullied, but who gives a shit? It's articulate. His finesse shots outside the box are going to be top blur, a little messy. We have Velasquez. Velasquez, I mean, not Cain Velasquez. God damn. He's going to be a good starter right back 
for the Spanish league from a German. He might be a bit expensive, but it's fine. Carvajal's always there, so he'll he'll be much cheaper. But a good starter card, good pace, good passing. To be honest, good shooting as well, you know, and good defending, and and good dribbling. So if you play him as like an overlap or the inverted thing where your right back plays as a, as a midfielder he might be quite kind of useful the only thing bad about him is his hairline that hairline is too big his forehead is massive you know his hairline is pushing back it's crazy so it's a good card overall he might be a bit expensive but for the first maybe to be honest for the first two months of fifa i think he'll be good enough uh if he don't release like 55 promo packs he'll be good enough now assume another one a spurs man best team in tottenham because we are we are shy i'll be honest basuma good stats again from a spurs man 71 pace 67 shooting 75 passing 81 dribbling 78 physicality i mean 78 defending and 76 physicality terrible haircut he loves balloons he's not a good role model but it's fine terrible decent teeth overall a good lad but he's a bit he likes his nightlife but decent it's a good card it's a good card i think for the first two months okay not not two months for the first month of fifa he'll be a top man a top player because again dribbling is good defending is good physicality is good and his pace is good enough for the first month of fifa but overall a good start card now another tottenham man Saw beautiful man i love this man tall man good physicality good dribbling good defending good passing good shit shooting i'll be honest and then decent pace so again for the first three to four weeks of fifa he'll be a good man but overall the spurs plays are looking decent now next we have sancho that disgusting team there should be chelsea 79 pace 69 shooting 78 passing 89 dribbling he's gonna be crazy i think he'll be crazy cheap as well because chelsea got a few players like these and he's quite slow so he shouldn't be too expensive but next we have ganacho he's one card i'm gonna use for the start of fifa can't wait to use this man good passing for a left winger good shooting for a left midder uh 70 well good pace i'm getting blind good dribbling shit physicality of course defending doesn't matter but also terrible eyebrows terrible hair fix your hair you fat prick but overall good card i'm gonna use him in my starter team if i could afford him he's not gonna be too expensive in my opinion because there's rashford's etc etc so it should be at maximum it should be 30k but who gives a shit i'm gonna use him because life carries on now we've got dagrashan i think i've done him who gives a shit he got piss off now Igor martinez he's gonna be if you want a bonus i'm not bonus he got if you want a la liga team he will definitely be in your starter squad Igor martinez good physicality good defending 81 good pace and decent passing for a defender but could be built on also a handsome man with also his teeth he's definitely been turkey but his hairline might need some work so i think he'll be going turkey again like he has done for his teeth but decent card i think well, once again if you are doing the la liga team you, you are definitely definitely having Igor martinez in your team next to our mason man i think he's won him with basuma He's gonna be in my midfield um if i do well i will do a premier league start squad but look very very overall very very good stats in a 4-4-2 him and basuma in my opinion will do crazy good uh 70 passing i mean 70 pace 77 shooting 81 uh, passing 79 dribbling shit defending shit physicality but for me it's good enough in a 4-4-2 he'll be very very dangerous in my opinion he'll be a great star card he might be one of the most expensive ones maybe here maybe 30 40k maybe 50k i lied but i think for the first two months i could deal with him he, he's a good man good smile 
decent trim but that little side of his hairline is going back so he might also need to go to Turkey the fat prick now we have Lamit Yamal it's an awkward one I think he's not going to be too expensive he's going to be a decent card in my opinion just, just imagine him cutting in and shooting oh I ain't Robin S man but please Yamal fix your hair it's terrible but yeah good pace good shooting good passing good dribbling so overall a solid solid card a solid start card in my opinion next we have Mausrawi so it's a good card I think to be honest for the first three months of uh, FC25 he'll be solid man because a very balanced card good dribbling good defending good physicality good passing and good pace so it's chuck a shadow on him he'll last for a few months but decent card and also good links and also but well, that beard is quite long and also uh, that hair you know looks a bit suspicious but a good player overall in real life good part i think if his pace was higher he'll be solid but then it'll be too expensive but as a starter it'll be quite good now we have Enric I don't know what happened to his rating but he's gonna be crazy good man good pace 76 shooting shit passing good dribbling and that was a terrible um oh he has to change his hair come on that that hair is terrible please Eric Eric you fat prick Bobby Bobby please change your hair but good pace and good shooting so I don't think he'll be too expensive maximum 30k so he's another player which i may use but i think i'm gonna use Solanke and richarlison and mason mount basuma left wing ganacho right wing sancho so that's my attacking 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 threats but i don't think i'll use endrick but decent card but yeah guys that is it if you think i missed any players please comment down below because i'm a fat prick i rushed this i lied it, it took me quite time to find these players but yeah guys please leave a like and subscribe and peace take care